Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you today and I am coming at you showing you guys, just giving you a quick insight into what I do every weekend. And what this does is it keeps me focused, it keeps me on schedule, it gives me no wiggle room because you know we always want to try to find and justify wiggle room. So what this does is it makes me stay on course. And I think that even though this video will be brief, I think it will really help you um, because sometimes when we see things done uh, in another way, even though we know we can do it, it just basically enlightens us even more and encourages us even more and inspires us even more. So I hope that I'm able to do that with sharing this video. So this will be great for you guys out there that uh, work outside the home as well as just like me who work in the home. And this is what I do. I go to the market and I buy the items I'm going to use for the whole week. All right. And these items will be uh, my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And what I do is I break them down and prepackage it. Okay. You can get little containers from the dollar, um, dollar Tree or Dollar General. And what I do is I buy these bowls because they were very inexpensive. You got like four for a dollar and then I just cover them with Reynolds wrap. All right. Now I incorporate some other things into my breakfast and give me one second. I'll go get it. I use this and other uh, protein shakes. Um, I have probably about eight of these tubs, all different flavors. This is like a milky flavor. Um, it's uh, cookies and cream as you can see but um, I have some other ones that are the best you guys brand that's out there and I can I can actually vouch for that and I'm going to do a haul on that so you guys can actually see the different ones and they are all fruit juice like all right so that's great so if you get tired of having the milky kind of uh you know uh what they call them um protein shakes then the ones I'm going to do a haul on for you guys um, will really you'll really like um, they have I have twisted cherry I have uh, pina colada I have it's so many different kinds of this brand you guys and I'm going to give you guys a $20 um, dollar off coupon of anything that you purchase from them and you can use that for the protein shakes as well alright so what you saw me doing was actually uh, stirring my pasta because that is angel hair pasta I'm going to make um, that pasta salad I'm going to go ahead and link that video for you guys um, underneath of this one I made it on camera and I showed you what I do to uh, to make the pasta salad but it tastes delicious all right so I'm just getting out the items that I had in the bag what you want to do is of course you want to naturally uh, wash all your veggies and your fruits In a very inexpensive store, you can either go to a farmer's market or you can go to uh, the store that I went to, which is Aldi. Now, I do get all of my uh, fresh fish and stuff from other stores. I even buy my farm-raised um, uh, poultry and beef I buy from um, a halal store. And um, But I do get like my veggies and canned items like beans to you know add extra protein and stuff like that. I get that from my um, local Aldi's all right so it's very inexpensive in fact I got all of these items that you're going to see I got all of them for I think $22 but you got to think about this is going to feed myself and Nene um, and somewhat a poodie as well for the entire week give me a second you guys I also have some crackers all right so let me just do a rundown. What I do is I make a humongous, humongous salad. And I just make it and put it in this huge mixing bowl. And what that does is it gives me salad already um, fresh. And what I do is I add to this salad right here, which doesn't have too much nutritional value besides, um, you know, just a little bit coming from the romaine lettuce, which is very little. So I bulk it up with extra um, items giving me loads of color and loads of flavor and also giving me um, lots of fiber. So I bulk that up with 
the cauliflower. I have a bag of spinach somewhere around here. I also add, um, I'm sorry, that's the cauliflower and that's the broccoli. All right, so I have three bags of this. Again, this is for basically my whole family, but I, I always say Nene and I because Pooty and Chuck, um, they eat a little differently. What I do is I do de definitely give Pooty some of these items, but he eats also things that Chuck eats. Um, not necessarily bad things, but it's just that they do eat differently than Nene and I. Uh, for instance, um, I'm not a vegetarian, Nene is, but um, I do often eat her vegetarian dishes, whereas Pooty are, is very selective on what he eats. Um, so that's not a bad thing, it's just that we just eat differently. And I just try to incorporate some of the things I eat um, into Pootie's diet. These eggs are going to work well with me because I actually, um, I actually uh, am going to have that. I boil my eggs and put them in a Ziploc bag. The reason why is because this is only 89 cents for 12 large eggs, right? Well, if you get 12 in your um, like butter and sour cream and cheese area in your um, local food market, if you were to get the eggs that's already done and they're already boiled for you and peeled, you guys, you're going to pay about three dollars for um, about a half a dozen of eggs. Sometimes you may luck up and pay three fifty for a dozen, but they're already pre-cooked. I spend eighty cents. 89 cents and I get them and just boil them myself now if you want your eggs to be pretty <laughs> yes I said pretty and you don't want them to look like they've already been attacked basically um, and the peel and all sticking to the egg what you want to do is you want to make sure you salt your water that's an old school trick um, and some of you guys know it some of you don't but that's what I do um, I have some tomato I have some jalapeno peppers I also have some imitation Ritz. These are really good because these are from Aldi's. You get five crackers for 80 calories, you guys. It even has one gram of protein in it. If you were to eat saltines, and that's not buttery crackers, but if you was even eat saltines, it'll be more calories than that. So that's why I like that uh, a lot of brands that Aldi's have. I got all my seasonings out. I also have um, some black olives. I also have a couple of cans of tuna. Um, I also have a couple of onions. I have my containers. I also have um, this, excuse the, the lid looking like that. It's just that I was cooking something else and it popped on it. But this was $1.81. This is all white chicken salad already made up. And what I do is I just add my own flair to it. And then I can have that with the crackers. It's 11 grams of protein per serving, and it's 200 calories for a one-third of a cup. You get four servings in this container, so you're looking at about 50 grams of protein just right here alone. And I just add extra things to it, the celery. I add onion, uh, green peppers, and things like that. All right, so this is what I had left over. What I do is I put it in a container like this and mix it all together, add a little bit of Obey and black pepper, and I'm good to go. You can put that on top of crackers or you can put it on top of sandwich bread. Now, as for me, this is a really, really good tip, you guys. I probably never showed you and I never talked about it, but this is what I do. I never, ever, ever eat regular bread. I don't care if I buy something from a store or not. I take it off and if I have to, yeah, I'm hardcore because I will bring a piece of this in aluminum foil with me and eat it on that and I'll tell you why. These are very inexpensive in Aldi's food market. You can get them for a dollar and you get uh, eight pre-sliced rolls, multi-grained. Um, they're only 90 calories. You get 90 calories for each roll, okay? It's 14 grams of whole grains and five grams of fiber in there. And it even has four grams of protein. So if your sandwich is packed with protein, then you're getting four grams just from the spread, you guys and it's 90 calories. Now I'm gonna break it down for you very quickly. I never eat regular bread, why? Because one slice of regular bread, you guys, is about 120 calories. Yeah, and it really has very little, especially if you're eating white bread, it has very little nutritional value in it, very little. Shockingly, if you're eating a sandwich, not even putting anything on it, not putting condiments on it, not putting meat or whatever you're having in the inside of your sandwich, just in the bread alone, if you're using white bread, it's 240 calories. Yeah, 
So I eat this because it's only 90 calories. There you are, you're cutting it in half, literally, not even including what you're putting on it. But it serves a purpose. It doesn't give you too much bread. It's not too bulky and heavy, which is perfect for somebody like me who just had their gastric sleeve, what, nine months ago? And also, it's good because um, it gives you extra nutritional value and you don't have to feel guilty after eating it as well. So I use this for my breakfast sandwiches and everything. Now, with the eggs, I'm going to make egg salad. That's yet again another pro a protein pack lunch or dinner. And I put it on this. Um, but I'm also, I also make my breakfast sandwich with this. And my breakfast sandwich consists of some onions, some green pepper, sauteed. Then I add one egg to it. Then I add some pre-cooked bacon. Now, pre-cooked bacon, I buy it. Usually, it's around the same price as regular bacon, but it's not loaded and drip dripping with fat. It's already done. You literally don't have to heat it up or anything. You can just put it on the sandwich and go. Okay? And it's already pre-portioned as far as to tell you how many slices are in there and per serving. And it's lean. Okay? Usually, it's lean bacon. That's the one I get. And then also, like I said, it's not dripping in fat. So, I use that with the egg, the little sauteed, sauteed onion and um, green pepper and you can even throw some mushrooms in there if you like and then I use one slice of cheese as you can see adding different proteins different layers different layers of flavor I'm still satisfied and I'm getting in that protein and I put it on this sandwich then this also giving you protein and that's it so I hope this is giving you some insight you guys I have to get ready to start cooking and I'm going to make my uh, pasta salad. Again, I'm going to give you guys the link below so you can see how you can make this pasta salad. Nanny and I love it. We just add some tomatoes and uh, olives and all kinds of vegetables to it. And then you add um, your favorite uh, zesty dressing. Okay? And you want to definitely add some Italian seasoning and stuff. But yeah, this is all for Nene and I for an entire week. The meals will be pre-portioned. Nene can grab it and go. So when she go to school, she can take her lunch with her because that's what she does. She chooses not to get lunch in school um, because we don't know what's in it and all that kind of stuff. With me, we know exactly what's in it. And that's why I don't really eat out. Plus, also, a lot of vegetarians, you'll find, don't eat out because it's often cross-contaminated. It's a lot of times that they don't have time to use different utensils and things like that when they're cooking what a quote-unquote vegetarian foods so therefore you're really not technically um, eating as clean as you think you are when you're being a vegetarian or if you're being a vegetarian if you go out to eat okay too often but uh, to each his own right also on the salads I add um, I add lean meats and what I do is I buy them when they are on sale or on clearance and I freeze them. Like this was $1.99. This is your brown sugar lean honey um, ham. And per serving, you get four slices for 60 calories and you get eight grams of protein per four little teeny slices. Add that and some cheese and that's extra protein. And I don't put that in the salad because I don't know what people want in their salad when they're eating it. So I just make a big salad and then I just add stuff to individual people's individual salad like for instance mine again with the lean ham or um or turkey and some cheese um nanays may stay the way it is just in the regular bowl so again i hope that i've given you guys some insight and um yeah i'll talk to you guys later and thank you for rolling with me be blessed you guys